Hello everyone and welcome back to Dale Chanel's 48 World. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. It's been a long time. But my accountant said I needed a tax write-off. So I said, what the heck? Why don't I just start my YouTube channel back up again? Okay? So y'all bear with me. It's always a family affair over here, but we're going to change the dynamics a little bit. So when I come to you for celebrity gossip or innuendos or speculations or just talking about the celebrity world and its inhabitants, we're going to take it a little twist. We're going to do something a little different. We're going to let you all decide who's telling the truth. So on this brand new segment, we're going to be saying, is the celebrity telling the truth or is the vloggers telling the truth? Okay, so well, we're going to start off tonight's uh, presentation with Shamari DeVoe, okay? Or her name was Shamari Fears until she got married to Ronnie DeVoe. And I'm sure y'all know who he is. He's a part of New Edition, okay? And he be shaking that tail feather like it ain't nobody's business, all right? But I am here to go off an article that I saw on, um, it was on Yahoo.com, okay, and they were featuring Shamari DeVoe and the uh, surrounding of her getting fired or did she quit Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? Now, the article's uh, um, journalist for this piece, his name I guess it's Aisha, Aisha, we just going to call it Aisha Power, okay, Aisha Power, okay, but she's one of the writers over there, and she put up, put up this uh, article on Yahoo.com, and we're going to go with it. She titles it, Shamari DeVoe Explains Why She Quit Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I think it's going towards the gurus. It may not work for Yahoo.com, but it's on their format. But it's also giving me a hint that she may work for the guru. All right, and that's T-H-E-G-R-I-O. All right, she brought down this story on July 24, 2021 at 1.30 p.m. She goes on to say, the former Real Housewives star says producers edit, edited her to appear as a drunk during her development. <coughs> What do you call it? Debut uh, season on the show. You know, she was a part of season 12. All right? Wasn't too much happening on it. Because you know when uh, you don't have the main characters like Phaedra and Kenya and Nene going at it with a little charade and a little Kim, it just don't feel like it's the same. And then when they totally got rid of Nene, for me, it was not the same. And I can't really say I watched any of this previous season or any of it that's come up because it has gotten kind of dry. So I'm going to get away from really looking at those shows and just comment on um, stories that come out in social media that's happening with the celebrities. That was just my sidebar. Let's go back to the article itself. It says Shamar DeVoe says that she stepped down. Okay, from the Real Housewives of Atlanta due to poor editing. The award-winning singer and current current BET presents the Encore, 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 woman, Encore, Encore, I think that's what she Encore star said that she was afraid of the draw and producers did little to encapsulate the full picture of her life. And I was like, going back looking at season 12, you know, Candy didn't really take up for it either. And that's just my eyes looking in, viewing the show when I was looking at it. And even uh, Marlo kind of expressed that she might be, you know, a little drunk here and there. You know, she was eating off Eva's uh, breast area. And she was kind of clowning a lot. So, I guess with putting those scenes back to back to back, it would appear that Shamari DeVille was correct. And saying that they made her look in the worst possible light on the show as possible. And they betrayed her as a person that could not hold their liquor. Okay? And Candy didn't do no better. She pretty much said it too. So, honey, the shade was real. 
on that particular seat. Going back to the article, it said they wanted to show me uh, with my little wine and make it seem like I'm just as drunk or whatever, she said in a recent interview with the Jasmine brand. That's right. Go check them out. Very good source of uh, celebrity news. That's the Jasmine brand. Okay. The Jasmine brand. So y'all go check her out. But she uh, interviewed with them and she added that, uh, but that's not me. There's a balance. Okay. So, uh, Shamar, you're telling us that you alert sometimes, but yet, then again, you're a family woman. Then again, you're not really a lush. You just like drinking. And then sometimes that alters your behavior from the normal pattern. I get it, girl. But you should have had a PR. A PR person explaining all this stuff. That's what Bravo do. They come for the enjoyment of total ratchetness. If you're not giving ratchets um, authenticity, then they don't want you. So I don't know why uh, you want to throw yourself in this type of setting anyway when you know how previous seasons were showing their beautiful you know, Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? But anyway, whoever can bring the most mess, that's who gets the biggest paycheck. Or they have a large following and people just want to tune in. As they say, they like what candy does, okay? But moving back on, that was just my sidebar. It says, the goal appeared on season 11 of the highly successful franchise, and it marked her first and last time on the show. Despite being well-liked by audiences, she told fans that she departed due to personal reasons. Now, correction, I thought I, was, I think I said season 12, but in this article it says season 11. But, you know, it's neither here nor there. She's not on the show no more. And I hope she's doing real well for herself. Okay? Because she was in the little girl group. And I think she is starting uh, this new thing uh, with some past, has been artists who's trying to revive their career on the low. And uh, just putting them back in the spotlight. So they're supposed to be, uh, I guess, forming a girl group. But it's called Encore or something to that effect. Go check it out. Okay, go check it out and let me know what was the real deal. Okay, holy deal. But going back, it said um, to the article, it said when DeVoe was cast as the new peach holder for the Real Housewives of Atlanta in 2018, she did not hold back. Spilling secrets about her relationship, her life, and sexual problems. Now, her and Candy did have something in common. They both like women. They partake in the women pool here and there. Candy has made it very vocal. She's um, bi, proud of it, uh, and all that kind of stuff. She even, uh, Minnie Shamara hooked up with Candy when they were doing that little dungeon tour. She had a little escapades on that here and there. Um, don't really know the true scoop on how Ronnie, her husband, feels about it. Totally in its totality, but <clears throat> it just is what it is. I guess he said, Go on and get that money, honey. But when he saw how it was rolling and how they were portraying his wife, he's like, Nah, you got to cut that short. <laughs> I just book a little bit more shows with new edition and I make the money, honey. Because they ain't playing you right. They, they make you look something uh, that's not portraying the real life that we live over here. Okay, now that's just my side. Well, that's what I'd be asked. Going back to the article, it says on the second episode in her season's review, the girl revealed to the group that she had previously encouraged an open marriage with her husband, Ronnie DeVoe, of New Edition, and Bill Bill DeVoe. So she could experiment with another woman. The couple shared twin boys born in 2017. We were going through some really bad times, she explains during the episode. There was a girl that I was interested in, and I wanted to do something different. I was bi-curious. So then again, fellas, women, or fellas, ladies, she's telling us she had a bisexual encounter, okay? But uh, going back to the article, it says she also was the target of many crude comments about her fashion choice and these ensembles. Uh, superheaded mostly by cast members Marlo Hampton, which ended in Hampton forcefully giving DeVoe a surprise takeover. DeVoe said the comments didn't bother her because I've, DeVoe, never been that type to go after labels or just after trends and wear what other women are wearing just because. Now, my sidebar, I give you a salute uh, on that 
wonderful evening like Shamari. You don't have to dress in nice and, and, and uh, what do you call it? Dolce Gabbana and and all these other wonderful designers just because of the name and you may have or you may not have the money to buy all those expensive things. But the clothes don't make you. You make you. So kudos for seeing that at such a young uh, age. DeVoe. Okay, going back um, to the article, it says when it was announced that DeVoe would not be returning for another season, rumors began circulating that DeVoe was fired from the series. DeVoe cleared up the allegations on Twitter, stating that it was her decision to leave. Okay, the main crust of a coup of DeVoe's departure was the showcasing of her drinking as the central theme of her character development. She even accuses producers of purposely altering events. And I was like, okay, yeah, okay. But what I did see, Shamar, you on that table, checking the tail, fella. Then you eat your food off of uh, Eva's breast. It, it kind of speculated that you could not hold your lip. And baby, maybe you need another PR uh, person. Uh, out there explaining these weird incidents you were going through. Then you were throwing up in the bathroom on one of those episodes. Uh, it, it just wasn't a good look. And I think y'all were over there celebrating Nene for some reason. And uh, I think she just needed her girls with her and she was having a breakdown or whatnot. Whatever for the show. Whatever builds those ratings. But yeah, it wasn't a cute look. It wasn't a cute look, Shamari. But, uh, I totally agree with you. They did not have to add all that in there, but it was shown. It was shown. I hope you got paid for it. But going back to the article, it says uh, there's a lot in editing, so they make you look like something that you're not. She claims there was a scene that I did during Real Housewives of Atlanta that was about couples and learning different tools and skills to keep a relationship going, and they cut the whole scene out. Now, on Bravo's defense, Shamari, they don't want that. They don't want humdrum type of non bore well, boring type of uh, information you're going to give them. They, they don't like that. And it should have been, if they were going to be true to Real Housewives of Atlanta and them following you all and y'all everyday run-of-the-mill type of, uh, what do you call it, uh, watching y'all go throughout y'all day from start up to start Going, slowing it down and getting in the bed uh, type of scenario. Yeah, that's what they had said, but then that is quite boring. People are looking for more so uh, drama. They're looking for to see how celebrities get down uh, doing their businesses and people they got to get on because they ain't acting right. They want to see the moves and shapers. And basically what you were trying to show was pivotal for, you know, um, the marriage union and stuff, but I mean, if you're not out there doing that as a full-time job, and it's being showcased all over the world, or at least Atlanta, uh, they, and you were showing other celebrities at that, then it gets kind of boring. So, understand you want to put your good foot forward for the well-being of society, uh, and the building of strong marriages throughout uh, Atlanta or the world, or whoever you were getting to come to your conferences. Uh, that's not what they want to see, okay? So, that's on Bravo's side, making that point for them. You knew what you signed up for when you got on the show. You just didn't know how uh, they were going to trick you into doing certain things or giving you uh, the comfort to do certain things. Then they're going to use it against you, okay? But that's where PR comes in tomorrow. PR person should have been on that, okay? But anyway, just going back to the article, it says, uh, she also claims that the show didn't air scenes that display the aspects of her life. Like, they didn't show the fact that I was doing the Married for Life walk, that I was helping people come together. And the thing about me drinking on camera is I haven't drank in like two years because I was pregnant with boys. I was breastfeeding, she says. When I got on Real Housewives of Atlanta, they were like just shoving drinks at me left and right. So I'm like, okay, cool. I can finally get away from the twins. The drinks went straight to the head. Despite her troubling feelings about her time in the series, she did say that she would be open to a Real Housewives of Atlanta return sometime in the future. Devote 
41 told the Jasmine Brand she loves to start a reality show about her own family life. I would love a family show. I would do that. Like with sign a contract today, I would do that. I already have to set the name. It's called Devoted. She said it's going down like seriously. I would do that in a heartbeat. I'm so big on family. I love my family. And I want the world to see the ups and downs in marriages and how difficult it is raising toddlers when you're a ger when you're a geriatric mom and a geriatric dad. Okay. I don't know what she meant by that. They both are too um young to be called geriatric. Oh well, moving on from that. It says my husband is fifty three and he doesn't have any other kids. These are his first kids, so it's like, man, your energy isn't all of that. It's hilarious. If y'all will was on the fly on the wall in our house, y'all be cracking up, laughing at everything that happens in here. Okay. And um that was pretty much it about that okay so i don't know guys who y'all side with y'all decide with uh shamari and her interpretation that bravo really threw her under the bus and just wanted to show her in the worst possible light that uh she could have been shown in or do y'all feel like she was basically giving them the ammo to shoot them bullets that they did shoot at her and made her seem like a, a, a lifeless punk or uncontrollable uh mino or you know whatever or do you just think it's just um hollywood in itself and just how they betray uh individuals for the love of money you know you give them a pot full of money they were like okay how much drama can you stir up for me it's almost like selling your soul in a sense you know what i'm saying they get some little kikis and he he's out there so who do y'all side with celebrity on this one or do you decide do you side with the bloggers on you know the jasmine brain giving a very in-depth viewpoint uh being non-biased uh on both parties so now let me know i kind of go with both of them really they both had good points uh but i really wish shamar would have a better pr person to come out here and straighten out some of these scenes or better yet something like candy is doing when she has a speak on segment, go and start a, up a YouTube channel and then give us her uh, viewpoint on how she felt being portrayed on season 11 or just sh being shown doing different scenes as a lush, you know? But that's my take on it. Guys, uh, love to hear from you in the comment section so get down there make your comments known and we'll move on to another subject within another day so thank you for coming back to our new segment where are you for the celebrity or are you for the blogger all righty so good night bye bye